Integration test is a process of testing multiple components of an app together to ensure that they function correctly as a whole. This type of testing is also called end-to-end -end testing. So let's take a look at the app that we are going to test in this episode. So we have the login page in the start. Then we have to enter a username and a password. So let's pass in username, password, and then click on login. Once we have that, we transition to the home screen. And if I restart, we again land to the login page. Then if I type any other username other than username, so I'll type in Rivan and password Rivan123 and then click on login, I get invalid username or password in an alert dialog. And once I click OK, the dialog pops off. Let's take a look at the code for this. So we have the main.dart file where we have my app and here we have the home as login page and in the login page we have two text editing controllers, one for username, one for password. Then we are disposing it off and in the build function we are returning a column where there are two text form fields, username and password and then an elevated button which says login. In the on pressed we have first a validation which checks if the controller's text is username and password controller's text is password. If that's the case, then we are going to the home screen. Otherwise, an error dialog is shown. And there we also have a button and when button is clicked, it pops off the screen. So this is what we want to test. Let's close all of these save files and get started with integration testing. So to start with integration testing, we have to create a new folder here. Let's call it integration underscore test. We cannot do integration testing in this folder, the test folder that's there, just like we did for widget and unit testing. It's because integration testing works a bit differently from widget and unit testing. So let's close this and in the integration test folder, let's create another file called app underscore test. Obviously, you need to put underscore test here, otherwise it will think it's a non-testable file. And then dot dot. Then let's import some of the packages we might need. So we need the flutter test package. Let's import it. Then another package that we need is integration test package. So let's go to pubspec.yaml. Here we are going to add a new package, call it integration underscore test. SDK is flutter and save it. So this is similar to the flutter test package. It's coming from the flutter SDK. That means it's built into flutter itself. We're just importing it over here in the dev dependencies, not in the dependencies. Make sure to do that because it is not affecting the user interface of the app or something the user might see. It's related to the developer and is, for, is there for our own convenience. So let's import the Flutter test package here. Then we can create a main function and we'll get started with integration test. So the first step in integration testing is basically ensuring that all the widgets are initialized. It's kind of similar to the widgets flutter binding that we have in main function like this widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized the same thing that is called in run app. If you see over here widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized. So this is what we want to call because integration testing unlike widget and uh, unit testing is not done in isolated environment. It's actually done with a real life app. So that means this app that you see that I was manually operating that is actually used in integration testing. Once we run a demo, it will be very clear. So here, the first thing that we want to do, and obviously we need to import integration test package, not flutter test package, because we have already done that. And here we need to call integration test widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized. As I said, this does the work of widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized. Then we are going to create a group because we are going to test two conditions. One condition is where the email and password, not the email, the username and password is correct. And another one is where we have the incorrect username and password. For the group description, we can have end-to-end -end testing because I'm technically testing the entire app. But of course, if you have a bigger app, you might have to name it more descriptively. So you might want to test a single, you can say widget, you can do that. We are going to create our first function, which is test widgets. Let's give a description, verify login screen with correct username and password. Or you can write this 
or something descriptive other than this or you can follow the normal convention of given when then that is discussed in the unit and widget testing episodes now here let's create this in a block let's put a comma here let's mark this as async and let's name this tester so that we don't have to call widget tester again and again this is a variable like a parameter you can name this anything but i just like to name it tester now the first thing is getting the screen correctly so for that what i'm going to do is import another thing which is main dot dot so we are importing this particular file and what we i need to do is call this run app function with my app so i need to call this main function so that my entire app restarts this is something different we do in integration testing unlike in widget testing that we had tester dot pump widget we don't do that over here what we do is basically call this main function so let's call it but here's the problem if i call main function it might think i'm calling this particular main function and thus it might become a re recursive function but i don't want that i want to call this main function right here so for that i'm going to prefix this as app and then call app dot main once i call this this particular thing gets run my app gets loaded on the screen so the next thing after this is calling await tester dot pump and settle the same thing that was there in widget testing what we did was tester dot pump widget but here we directly call this main function the run app function and then we are just making sure that it's correctly there on the screen so pump and settle repeatedly calls pump until there are no more frames to execute so after the app is perfectly there on the screen we can move ahead so this is just making sure that happens after that what we want to do is enter the username enter the password and then click on login so for that we can again use tester and we'll have tester dot enter text so here we need to pass in a finder and the text that we need to pass in what we need to find is this text the username text we already know how to do that because of the widget text experience so here we are just going to have find dot by type or you can use any other method i'm just going to use find dot by type and pass in text form field and that will import material dot dot and the text that i want to enter is username because that's the correct username right and obviously await this because this is of the type future void and then i want to do the same thing but here pass in the password but here's the problem if i do find dot by type text form field which text field should it choose for example if you look over here the screen is loaded then i say enter text so it decides to enter the text and then we pass in the text form field but there are two text form fields on the screen which one should it take so for that reason it won't be able to know which one to do and that's why we have a method after by type called dot at where we can mention the index so i'll type here let's say zero so what happens over here is it finds two text form fields and we are saying enter username text in the first text form field that you find so after you land on the screen you find two text fields you go on the zero text field which is the first text field and enter username over here so that's what we are doing here dot add zero alternatively what you can do is find dot by key and then pass in the key for your text field so suppose your text field over here let's go down here has a key of let's say key username controller you can take this key and pass it in over here and that will work as well but i just wanted to show you a demo of dot add zero which you can use and it finds the zero text form field because if it goes from up to down the username field is the first field that it finds the password field is the second field that it finds right so here we can have dot at one and then we pass in username and password also here we can remove the key because we are not using keys over here after the username and password is entered 
what we want to do is call this login button so for that we'll have await tester dot tap and then we again pass in find dot by type elevated button and here only the type is required not the widget that's why we are just going to have this and save it so we can just have find dot by type elevated button nothing else after it because on the entire screen there's only one elevated button and after that is clicked what we are expecting is we should go to the next screen right because the username is correct the password is correct so we should transition to the next screen so for that we can have expect find dot by type and what should the type be so here we can actually pass in home screen as a whole because it expects a type you can pass in anything right so you can pass in a home screen that it's expecting and we should be getting home screen ideally and the matcher should be finds one widget let's save it let's run this entire thing for that we'll close this debugging so we have closed this entire app running which was running in the main.dart file because of this lib folder we've closed this and for integration test let's run this part let's open the terminal in the debug console let's wait for it to launch and you can see we get an error over here why is this error there well that's because if you start debugging your test function we call the function app.main then we make sure that it's correctly rendered on the screen then we enter text for text form field both the places then we tap on the screen so whenever we tap on the button we transition to the next screen so that transition might require tester dot pump and set it right so we need to call that we cannot call pump because it just calls pump once like set state and transitions probably don't work that way what we need to call instead is pump and set it so let's save it let's rerun this again and see if it works and you see end to end test verify login with correct username and password worked so you might think how is it different from widget testing now so this was integration testing but now you might ask what exactly is integration testing and why is it different from widget testing the main difference is widget testing works in an isolated environment integration testing really checks the app so it's like a real life app where the user is the automated system and it actually runs the program on the screen that's why i had closed the running app just to show the difference now you weren't able to see the app over here because everything executed very quickly but just to see something what you can do is after the app loads you can have await future dot delayed duration seconds two so we have a two second delay let's put a const over here after the username is added let's add a two second delay after the password is added we add a two second delay and after it is tapped we should again see a two second delay and then we should have a home screen showing up so we can have a two second delay here as well now let's try to run the app and see how it looks so for now what i'm going to do is come over here and see integration testing from here so here you see test started then we have a two second delay the username is being typed the password is now being typed the login button was clicked on and then we got transition to the home screen and the execution stopped and here we get the output that yeah all of the integration test processes worked very well everything happened so quickly in the first time that we didn't get to know but after we added the delay everything was quite visible so this is how integration testing is different it actually runs the entire app and that's why it might take a little bit more time than widget and unit testing for smaller apps and for bigger apps integration testing can be very very slow okay so now let's write another function in this group just to verify that the alert dialog is being shown so i'm going to copy this function because we have got enough experience with widget testing and here we are going to have incorrect username and password the username is now rivan password can be rivan 1 2 3 then the delay is the same so that we see everything happening not you know instantly it happens then this time we are not expecting home screen of course you can try this and see if you get an error actually i'm sure you will get 
but what we are expecting this time is an alert dialog so what i can have is expect find dot by type we can say alert dialog and if you don't want this what you can have is find dot by text find dot text sorry not by text and here the text will be exactly what's shown in the login screen this thing right here either error or invalid username or password either of those texts so you can use either of them and pass it over here and then we should get exactly one widget that says this right so if incorrect username or password is there we want to call the functions again then we want to enter text for the username then the password then we tap on the button and then we see an alert dialog which you can use either find.by type or find.text in find.text you can have error or invalid username or password and you should find exactly one widget so let's start with this i'll click on run in the debug console let's wait for it to get over so as soon as i get this i can come over here test is starting the username is entered password is entered which is our first test and it passes successfully now again the test starts and here we type in the incorrect username and the incorrect password then click on login we get invalid username or password and let's see if it passed and both the tests have passed so this was all about integration testing there's actually more you can do in integration testing like look at the performance of the app but for that i'll leave a resource down in the description below which you can check out it's quite basic and you'll be able to understand from the documentation so this was it about testing as an entire thing we've covered widget testing unit testing and integration testing everything related to flutter testing so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video